A stock with high yield does not necessarily mean it will make a great dividend stock. The key to finding a great dividend stock is understanding the stability of that dividend. And here are three dividend stocks I feel are worth looking at right now. Hi guys, Stanley here. A key reason why many of us invest might be to create a stable passive income for ourselves in the future. Passive income would mean that we will get a stable flow of cash without doing much to our portfolio. The easiest method is to invest in strong companies that are already giving out stable dividends. However, there is a tendency for us to go for companies that are giving out the highest dividend yield. That is a risky strategy in my opinion. That is because some of these high yield companies might be giving out dividend way above their ability and that dividend would not be sustainable in the future. Or worse, they might be even questionable businesses that are using high yield to lure unsuspecting investors. Do you have experience in getting hurt investing in one of these high yield dividend stocks? Comment down below and let me know. A more useful strategy for me would be to look for companies that has a strong and stable business and its dividend is well backed by its profit and cash flow. Such gems in the stock market are not easy to find, but I do think these three companies fit the bill on Singapore Exchange. And here are my three best dividend stocks on the Singapore Exchange. Number one, Seng Siong Group. Seng Siong is a household name in Singapore, being one of the largest retailers in the country. The company also has a strong history, starting from just one store back in 1985. Seng Siong was able to grow even among competition that includes large multinational like Dairy Farm International and government linked and union backed entity like NTUC Fair Price. Seng Siong grew to close to 60 stores nationwide and has a revenue more than $1 billion. Moreover, it is providing a key necessity for the community across Singapore, giving more stability to its business. Apart from being an impressive growth company, Having grown its profit 7.5% a year over the past few years, Seng Siong also has been an impressive dividend stock. It has been giving out a stable dividend of around 3.5 cents from 2015 to 2019. This year, that dividend has increased together with its growing profit, giving investor a yield of 3.4%. One aspect that I like about its dividend is its low payout ratio of only around 50%. This shows me that the dividend is well covered by its profit and its operating cash flow, giving me more confidence that the dividend can be sustained in the future. So if you're hunting for a dividend stock, Seng Siong might be one you want to investigate more. Next, we have SBS Transit. SBS Transit is one of the largest public transport operators in Singapore. It is a listed subsidiary of ComfortDelGro, a multinational transportation company. SBS Transit is a key operator in both the public buses and the MRT services. Due to the change of structure of the public transport system a few years ago, SBS Transit will only earn a service fee for operating the buses and train and do not need to invest heavily into the transportation infrastructure in the future. This gives its business more stability and free up its cash flow to pay more stable dividends in the future. Unfortunately, its business is affected by the current pandemic and without relief coming from the government, the company would have suffered a loss this year. The company also refrained from paying out a dividend this year in light of the pandemic. However, when things return to normal over the next few years, SBS Transit has shown in the past it has a very stable business that is generating very stable cash flow. And the company has been paying out consistent dividend over the past few years, with a dividend payout of below 50%. This again show us that the company dividend is well backed by its profit, giving dividend investor more assurance. So if you're looking for a dividend stock that might turn around this pandemic, SBS Transit look like an interesting candidate. Lastly, we have HR Net Group. HR Net Group is a human resource agency that is operating across 13 major Asian cities. The company has two main segments of business, professional recruitment and flexible staffing. HR Net Group helps company find the right hire and provide contract staff for companies looking for more temporary placement. HR Net Group has seen its revenue grow at about 5% a year over the past three years. Although the company has seen its business being affected during this pandemic, it is still managed to make a profit during the first half of this year. More importantly, the company has a history of very stable performance and its business is generating very good cash flow. 
Together with a strong balance sheet, the company has been giving out consistent dividends for investors. Similar to SBS Transit and Singxiong, its dividend is also well backed by its profit, having a dividend payout of around 70%. The company is currently giving a dividend yield of about 5.6% to investors. Although it might take a while before we see strong hiring trend return across Asia, HR Net Group might have some value for investor who has the patience to wait out the storm. Anyway, those are the three dividend stocks that has piqued my interest on the Singapore exchange. What other dividend stocks are you interested in? Remember to comment and share with us. And if you want to learn more about investing, you can check out our investment course at valueinvestasia.com slash free course. As always, till we meet again, invest safely.